Welcome, here I've got OnePlus 8T and I'm gonna show you how to use the camera promote at this device. So at first we have to tap on a camera button here to open it and for now we are in the standard photo mode. Let's change it by using the settings bar and just simply going to the right to the pro. So here we are, this mode gives us possibilities to choose some shooting parameters by ourselves. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills or making experiments with photography. So let me start with this settings bar, let's go from the right, the first one button on here allow us to control the exposure compensation so this is the light managing of our picture by going to the right on the slider we can make our photo much brighter as you can see and by going to the left we can make it more darker so this is how it works and at the center of course we have the auto settings so there's no problem to go back to the auto now let's move to the next one button here we have the focusing we can change the autofocus to the manual by using this slider as you can see this is how it works at the picture also uh, and the autofocus is also at the center so there's no problem to go back here we have also one extra tip connected with these two buttons so the focus and the exposure compensation when we tap on the screen we go to autofocus and we have this uh, ring connected with the square and sun icon and we can separately adjust this like that so we have the exposure point and the focal point so now uh, we have some extra settings here with uh, the exposure and the focal and also here when we tap on this a little bit longer here on the sun icon we get this slider so this is extra um, slider to uh, control as you can see the exposure compensation also here so good to know this and now let's move to this button here we have the shooter speed so we can change the time of taking photo uh, and we can pick from one and eight thousands of seconds so this is really short time of taking picture this is better to objects for example in move uh, to frozen them by going to the right on the slider we can make our time just much longer as you can see to the 30 seconds so this is really long exposure and this should be better to objects for example that are stable so for now let me stay on the auto and let's move uh, to the next one button here we have the white balance so we can control the temperature of our picture in kelvin degrees by using this slider we can make our photo much colder and by going to the right on this we can make it more warmer so this is how it works this is kind of balance between the blue and the yellow light and of course we have the auto settings here at the center now let's move to the next one button the ISO so here we can control the camera's sensitivity to light we can pick from 100 of ISO on the slider so we can make it less sensitive by going to the right we can make it more sensitive to 3 and 2000 so this is really wide spectrum as in the professional camera and this is really cool of course we have the auto settings at the center here and now let's have a look at this settings bar here. A uh, lot of the settings is also in standard photo mode, but we have uh, two extra buttons that I want to show you. First one is here at the center. By tapping on this, we can change the format of our photo from JPEG to the high quality JPEG 48 megapixels. And also here we have access to RAW format. So RAW format is used by professional photographers to saving more details at the picture to post-producting them in graphic programs. So this is really cool that we have this. And now let's stay on the standard JPEG. Let's move to this button, the second from the left. Here we have C1 and C2. We can create our own settings and save them. So when we tap on the C1, for example, we can adjust the settings like that as we want. So this uh, allows us to create some kind of our own filter, for example maybe this is uh, how to name this and by tapping on this button here in the left corner at the bottom we can save the settings so there's uh, the quick access to our filter now we are in standard uh, pro mode so we can use this but when we want to go to our settings let's just tap on c1 and it goes back to this one that i've saved and the same thing happens here in c2 
so we can start doing this uh, from the beginning here and this is uh, really cool now let's uh, turn this off and let's move uh, here to the right corner when we pick this we can open the advanced camera settings now let's slide down we have here the pro category here we can turn on the histogram by using this button also turn it off like that and the horizontal reference line also we can use this button to turn it on and off now let me keep this turn it on to show you uh, in the um, photo um, camera preview so let's go back to the camera so here we have the histogram and here we have the leveler uh, so the leveler works like that this is useful when we want to keep our photographic topic straight at the picture and of course we can turn this off by going again to the settings in the right corner and sliding to the pro here so now uh, these settings uh, have gone and uh, now let me for example use the settings to take a picture so maybe the white balance here this maybe on the auto and let's tap on this to focus this like that to see my picture let's move to the right corner at the bottom so here we have quick access to the gallery and that's all thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up